Hey guys, uh, today I will be uh, giving a, a tutorial about uh, installing the new ROM with the full root that is uh, provided by uh, DataGR from uh, XDA. So thank you DataGR to uh, supply us with this new ROM that is fully rooted. So I will be showing in this video how to root your device and you can also read on XDA how to do it but I thought uh, I might as well do a video on how to do it uh, step by step so here is my uh, Team G um, it's running the, the newest ROM without root I will show you uh, let's check it out I just installed it so okay verify root access go ahead sorry no root okay so I knew that uh, let me show you which version of the ROM I have it's the one that you all you guys have <laughs> uh, so it's this one the 2013 October 22 version so let's get started with uh, rooming the uh, rooting this uh, ROM uh, first of all, I downloaded the new ROM, so I put it already in a folder, that's this folder. When you download it, you will get it in a zip file. I will show you the zip file. Uh, let me see, it will be here. So first, when you download it, you will get it like this. In a zip file, just right click, extract to a, to, to a new folder, and then you will get the new folder with all these items in it what you have to do is get an SD card like this SDTF card with a USB extender like this just put the card in your computer and then you will get this pop-up open the folder and then just copy all these files copy them to the new folder make sure you put them in the root of the folder like this copy them so you can see it's about 447 MBs it's copying the files now right to the root of the folder so when you insert this SD card into your Team G you have to reboot your Team G just let it copy all the files take your time no rush alright as you can see all the cop uh, files are now copied so now we close this one you can see you have all the files here so get the SDTF card out of your USB adapter and just stick it in your uh, Team G Super 8 uh, tablet like this like that alright now what we have to do is uh, uh, reboot your Team G um, you have to press down on the volume down button and hold the power button at the same time so like this I'm going to do it now like this and it should start up with the update process like this you see it you can release now your uh, fingers from the buttons and just let it do its job as you can see it's saying update system wait some minutes so just let it do its work and it will reboot when it's done it will take about five to ten minutes I don't know I think it's uh, around that time just leave your tablet alone and let it do its work uh, second of all all you guys from XDA I would like to thank you for uh, keeping this uh, uh, thread uh, running uh, I was uh, kinda busy with my work so I didn't have time to check all the new uh, messages that came 
so I totally missed out on uh, the fact that uh, there was a new uh, Rudis ROM so I'm also very happy with uh, this ROM uh, I sure hope uh, this tablet uh, will be uh, faster than uh, the last ROM and I sure hope uh, we can get some more uh, custom files like custom ROMs it would be uh, very nice to get those so the tablet is uh, still working here it's doing the update still doing the update as you can see nothing wrong with it just let it run uh, personally I find uh, that this Exynos uh, 5410 chip I think there is a lot of power in this chip and it just needs to be uh, uh, put out with a, a good ROM like uh, last uh, few weeks I've played with this uh, tablet and the only thing that I uh, found a little bit disappointing is the battery time I found out that uh, very very uh, uh, small time like four hours maybe playing and then it's uh, already dead and uh, the time in uh, sleep mode is also it uses a lot of uh, power like uh, when you leave it uh, like for uh, uh, in the evening you leave it uh, in the morning you wake up you get like 20% uh, that has been used by the sleep process so that's just a lot of uh, percentage so with the new ROMs that might be coming I hope they solve this uh, these issues uh, so now it's going to reboot let's see as you can see it's putting up with the new ROM Exynos rooted data GR you are the guy man I'm uh, very uh, happy that you did this. I was uh, already uh, getting a uh, uh, mailing with the uh, guys from Team G. I have a contact person there, but she is kind of slow with uh, answering mails. So I was very surprised that I uh, that uh, you guys at uh, XDA already had a, a rooted wrong. So now it's uh, booting up, taking a little time. let it take some time hope that everything works well yep and that's it so let's see seems to run uh, fairly smooth as you can see let's check the version again same version Exynos 54 I will just connect to my network and then uh, get the the root checker and then we can see if it's worked alright come on Typing in now my Google account. It's just taking some time.
All right, now it's connecting. It took a while, but it's connecting with my uh, Google account. So let's go. Let's do the Play Store. We're going to find the root checker. Alright, let's see. Install. Let's go. I see it's updating uh, the other files first. Taking some time. Uh, you can see uh, the Super SU is already uh, installed. So that's looking good. Alright, root checker is installed. Come on, open up. Agree, go ahead. Now we're going to verify again. Grant. And now you can see, congratulations, this device has root access. So, Data GR, you are the man. Thank you for this uh, fully rooted ROM. Very happy with this. As you can see, SuperSU is installed, so that's good. So, I hope you guys uh, are happy with this video. I'm going to put out the link uh, where you can get the the new ROM uh, beneath this video so until the next time guys see you on XDA